Next, we need to discuss light waves. And before we talk about light waves, we just need to talk about waves. So the question is, what is a wave? Well, a wave is a disturbance that propagates through a medium. And I'll explain that with a few examples. A sound wave, for example. If you have a speaker, and a speaker for your stereo is typically shaped like a cone, and this piece back here is called the, the driver, and that contains the mechanism that shakes it back and forth. So it just shakes forward and back, forward and back really fast, hundreds of times per second. But as it shakes forward and back, it shakes the air in front of it, and that disturbance travels through the air. Now it's not wind coming out and traveling forward. It's just a vibration, a disturbance that travels through the air. This would also be similar to um, a disturbance traveling in, in, in anything else, like a wave on the water, for example. A wave on the water would be a disturbance that travels across the surface of the water. So you might have, well, let's draw it like this. And these little waves, obviously, you've seen this, they move across the surface of the water. Now water isn't really traveling. It's not like if this is a pond and there's a wave traveling across the pond. It's not like all the water on one side moves across and ends up on the other side. It's just the disturbance that travels. Or if you've taken a piece of rope and say it's fastened down here and you grab this end and you shake it. You can, um, you can shake one end, just give it a shake, and this little wave pulse will travel down to the other end. And if you continually shake it, you'll get a continuous oscillation in the rope. But the rope itself doesn't start piling up down at the other end. The rope is not moving from point A to point B. It's the disturbance that's traveling. So a wave is a disturbance that travels through some material. In this case, the, the sound wave, it's traveling through the air. On the pond, the, the disturbance is traveling across the surface of the water, and here the disturbance is traveling along the rope. Whatever material it is that carries the wave is called the medium. And this doesn't mean medium like small, medium, and large. This is related to the word mediate, as in go-between, or the word intermediate. That's the name given to the material through which a wave travels. And just know that in each case, particles of the medium shake back and forth, but don't travel along as the wave does. It's the disturbance only, the wave itself, that's doing the traveling. And a wave has to have a medium in which to travel. It's um, been said that in space, no one can hear you scream. That was um, the, the line for a movie, uh, a scary movie, uh, Alien, when I was younger, younger. And it's true. No sound waves can travel through space. Sound travels through the air. You have to have the air shaking in order for, for, um, for there to be a sound wave that you can hear. The speaker shakes in and out. And when it does that, it pushes on the air in front of it and causes a disturbance to travel through the air. If you were out in space and you had a stereo speaker, it could shake in and out, but there's no air there for it to push against. So there's no sound wave that's going to be created. If ast astronauts are talking to each other, the reason they're able to talk to each other is because inside one astronaut's helmet, say here's, here's one astronaut, uh, inside his helmet there's air and he can talk and the sound will travel from his vocal cords through the air in his helmet and he has a little microphone there in his helmet and so the sound is picked up by the microphone but it's only traveling in the helmet and then he, he's got a little radio transmitter or something some device that will broadcast a radio wave that will then travel and that will be picked up by the astronauts on the spacecraft or another astronaut floating around outside the space station for example that would be picked up by an antenna and then the the radio device in his spacesuit would convert it into a sound wave inside his helmet so there's a little speaker inside his helmet and and then he can hear the sound from the speaker because it can travel through the air in the helmet but there's the sound is not traveling through space it's a light wave a radio wave that's traveling through space from one astronaut to another 
uh, if astronauts radios break down they could actually lean their heads together so that the the one helmet would touch another and then the sound could travel from the air through the physical material of the helmet and into the other one and the other astronaut could hear him but they can't travel through empty space a sound has to have a, a wave has to have a medium in which to travel now we haven't talked about light waves yet but we'll get to that we've mentioned sound waves and water waves and waves on a rope uh, but, but we'll, we'll be getting to light waves in just a second know though that waves always involve a back and forth motion some kind of oscillation these sound waves could be shaking back and forth as the disturbance travels along uh, just like the rope here is shaking up and down as the disturbance travels along the length of the rope or as the wave on the water goes by individual pieces of water are bouncing up and down as the wave travels along the surface so there's always an oscillation a back and forth motion when you have a wave and the oscillation can be fast or slow and we speak of the frequency of the oscillation and that's an important term the frequency a high frequency oscillation means there's a lot of back and forth motion in a given amount of time and a low frequency oscillation means there's only a few back and forth motions in a given amount of time as a good example if you play a musical instrument you're familiar with with notes and the note middle C is a frequency of 256 Hertz and this unit Hertz that's H-E-R-T-Z and that just stands for an oscillation per second so 256 Hertz is 256 oscillations per second the note A the next note above or the A that's above middle C is 440 Hertz so a higher frequency oscillation and you hear a different frequency of sound a higher frequency oscillation corresponds to a higher note 